land of Ray in the district of Tehran, Iran, lies a shrine dedicated to a dear friend, companion, and student of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt, who became a top scholar and writer of his day. His name was Sayyid Abdul Azim, the son of Abdullah, the son of Ali, the son of Hassan, the son of Zayd, the son of Imam Hassan al Mushtaba. Such was his closeness to Imam Hassan. السلام, a poet once wrote, as if placing these words in the mouth of Sayyid Abdul Azim. There is not between myself and Al Mushtaba save two Ains, a Ha, and then a Zai. Historians mention that he was a pious and devout worshipper of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reliable, trustworthy, and truthful. He was learned in matters of faith, thanks to him being a beloved student of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt. From Imam Musa al Kadhim right up until Imam Hassan al Askari. The Ahlul Bayt held him in very high regard as shown by narration mentioned by Shaykh al sadduq that one time the Sayyid went to visit Imam al-Hadi and when the Imam saw him, he became happy and exclaimed, Welcome, O Abul Qasim, you are indeed our true friend. Furthermore, when Abu Turab al-Ruyani, a companion of Imam Mahadi went to the Imam with questions, the Imam advised him, if something regarding religion confuses or confounds you, then refer to Abdul Azim and convey to him my regards. We can see from the narrations brought to us from Sayyid Abdul Azim that indeed he was a dutiful student and held firm to the truth. It is through individuals like him that we are able to refute incorrect opinions held by other schools of thought. For instance, the Sayyid narrates to us a tradition from Ibrahim bin Abi Mahmud, who said, I asked Imam al Radha alayhi salam, what is your opinion about the tradition which people narrate that Allah descends to the lower heaven? And the Imam replied, May Allah curse those who displace statements from their correct positions. By Allah, the Holy Prophet never said that, but rather he said, Allah, the glorified and exalted, sends an angel to the lower heaven on Laylatul Jum'ah who calls out, Is there anyone who seeks so that I may grant him? In this manner, the Imam corrected and explained this prophetic tradition. In another narration attributed to Imam Radha السلام, the Sayyid mentioned that the Imam was asked about Surah Al Qiyamah verses 22 to 23. <laughs> On that day, faces will be radiant, looking towards their Lord. Some have concluded that this means we will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. But Imam al Radha alayhi salam refuted this as a shirk and said, faces on that day will be radiant because they are expectantly looking forward to the rewards of the Lord the Almighty. Sayyid Abdul Azim al Hassani complied the knowledge he learnt into books, including Kitab Amir al Mu'mineen, which recorded the sermons of Imam Ali, and also Day and Night, which contained the practices and supplications the Imams السلام, used during the day and the night. He lived during the peak of the Abbasids' oppression towards the Shia and was especially disliked by Al Mutawakkil and Al Mu'taz for his loyalty towards the Ahlul Bayt. One report suggests that it was Imam al Hadi who ordered him to migrate from Samarra to Ray to escape persecution. Whereas another report suggests he went to visit Hamza, the son of Imam Qadim in Ray and passed away whilst he stayed there. He died on 15th Shawal 252 after Hijrah. Because of his love and devotion towards the Imams of the Ahlul Bayt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded him greatly in his death. Shaykh al saduq narrates that a Shia from Ray came to Imam al Hadi السلام, and said, I went to visit the holy shrine of Imam Hussein السلام, and the Imam told him, If one visits the shrine of Abdul Azim al Hassani, the grave that is near you, it is as if they had visited Imam Hussein in Karbala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all 
to be his dutiful and devoted servants. And may he bless us all with the ziyarat of Sayyid Abdul Hazim al Hassani, as well as that of Imam al Rada alayhi salam and Lady Fatima al Masoma alayhi salam in the land of Iran.